People have been talking about the new rule, the new secretary to the Home Office in the UK and the new everything going on about dependents, how Nigerians are with most dependents. Meanwhile, Nigerians are not the only ones with dependents, okay? So, talking about bringing dependents, staying with dependents and all that, I am going to tell you my opinion here in this video and I'm going to put it with facts, okay? I have seen a lot of people ask me, Queen, does it mean we're not going to get our dependent? Does it mean if I get this admission, I won't be coming with my wife? Or does it mean my kids are going to go back to Nigeria or go to whichever country they are coming from? And the answer is no. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. I don't think that UK is going to really stop dependents from coming to the UK. Mm -mm. I don't think it's going to happen and I'm going to tell you why. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned, watch, listen, share and remember to subscribe. My name is Queen Alina Nyako and if you are seeing me for the first time, please, you're welcome. In this, in this channel, I talk about living in the UK, how to go abroad, how to relocate abroad and living life abroad and a lot more. If these are the kind of contents you like. Please do well to subscribe and share this video, right? Let us be friends and be active in the comment section and have something coming up. So please keep to the comment section, all right? That being said, people have been talking and there's been a lot of concern as regards to dependence. And I'm telling you, do not worry yourself. First of all, a dependent is someone who um, is depending on somebody else. I mean, it's clear right but i'm heading to somewhere a dependent is someone who was brought or who is being um um sponsored by another person so basically i'm a dependent and my husband brought me right or a student is a dependent and has a wife and the wife is a dependent or the husband is a dependent that is what it is now first of all Saying that dependents are not allowed to come to the UK or the UK want to put a rule to stop dependents from coming, it is something I see very impossible. With these few points of mine, I hope this is not a debate, but I'm going to tell you this fact. Most of the dependents are not unskilled workers. I hope you know that. I am a dependent and I am a nurse. I am a skilled worker. I have a lot of my colleagues who are nurses and they are dependents. So the fact we are dependent doesn't make us unskilled workers. We still contribute to the system. We still pay taxes and we still work. And I hope you, you, you know that UK actually add, added more jobs to the shortage occupation list. The more has been added and you're telling me that UK want to scrap. It is not possible because I'm talking about dependence generally now. The fact that I'm a dependent doesn't mean that I do unskilled job and even at that these unskilled jobs someone has to do them right yes someone has to do them and we both know that <laughs> judging from experience the people we live with they are not hard working most of them are not hard working you know that uh -huh. so people are going to do it also you know that so many establishments are already suffering from the Brexit. So they say Brexit, they have a lot of unskilled workers, they don't have professionals, and they did Brexit because they want to boost the economy. And what happened? The economy is going down and down and down and down. It is not going to happen. Another thing is, UK is not only the first world country. There are many other first world countries, you know that, right? So, for me, we are coming to actually help the economy because here, we pay bills, we pay taxes, and we also spend. Like we buy things and all this the money is in a circle. They all revolves around the UK's economy's bank. And you say they want to reduce it. They're only trying to curb unnecessary immigrants, unnecessary immigration. Now let's go back to student dependence. We all know that being a student is the easiest way to go to any country, not just UK. I think one of the reasons people come to UK is because this is where we have most families and this is where we can easily go to because 
is an English speaking country and we all you know most of the people who are dependents here are actually from the Commonwealth countries so what are you talking about we are for the Commonwealth countries and we are trained and we are forced to speak English so it makes it really easy for us to come here all like telling me to go to France come on I have to learn French it is not easy and telling me to go to Germany which also has a better economy I have to learn their language so it makes it arguably it makes it very easy for us to come so it's not like UK is the only country or only developed country that can make uh, traveling easy no they are not we have no way we have Sweden we have other countries the problem is we don't speak their language and if you even check those countries people still learn those languages and they go for instance Chinese come to UK even when they don't speak Chinese so what I'm trying to say is being a student it is the easiest way to travel to any country including US it's very easy now are you telling me that you want to take me as a student and you leave my husband and my kids for a course of two years no na. no it can't work let me read it for you the complaints have actually been that students have most dependents students people on tier 4 visa have more dependents but what do you expect if i have five kids i have to come with my five kids you've already told me that this is the amount i should have to endeavor to make sure that i can take care of these kids and i have those prizes i have those amounts you mentioned so what is stopping you from telling me that i cannot get my admission no also let me also tell you another reason they cannot just scrap or remove students and dependents because once you stop dependents from coming most students are going to stop coming and uk can't afford that they can't afford to lose all these students i'll tell you why according to UKS, UKS, the board in charge of students in the uk i'll read the head of the head of student processing group UKS has said more students from Nigeria, Ghana, and Vietnam should be recruited. I made a rule about international admissions with accusation that some universities are seeking to benefit from the higher fees overseas students pay. This will bring me to the next point. You want to scrap international students, right? Have you checked how much students pay? Some schools home students which are the uk uk students they pay nine thousand pounds some eight thousand something nine thousand something and international students have to pay like double of that sometimes more depending on the school some schools international students pay twenty five thousand pounds did you hear that twenty five thousand pounds i don't make twenty five thousand pounds in a year and someone pays it at the school fees some people pay seventeen thousand. Some people pay fifteen thousand. Even in the in the in the north, people still pay fifteen thousand plus, sixteen thousand plus as school fees. And you're telling me that you are not benefiting, no na. And you expect me to, after paying such amount, I won't come with my child, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well. I'll keep going the truth is i don't want to start reading all these things but the truth is that these rules are laws that want to be updated and reviewed has actually set the parliament into groups because some people say which is true which is true some people say that these students contribute to our economy Come to think of it, where do they even make money from? Yeah? So, they cannot scrap students. Neither can they scrap the dependents. Instead, they are planning on making the rules really, really tight. They are not basically telling you, you won't come with your dependents. They want to control, which is true, because, come on, a lot of people are coming into the uk that's the truth so they want to control this amount of people coming into the uk and they think the best way to do it is to start from tightening the students rule because the student visa route because 
you can't tell me they are going to stop the recruitment. No, nah. You don't want to stop nurses and doctors. It's not, you know it's not possible. <laughs> you know it's not possible to stop nurses and doctors. Even with the massive recruitment going on from Africa, they still don't. Now we are going for strike. We are going on strike. The nurses. They cannot stop recruiting healthcare professionals from Africa or Asia. Neither can other first world countries stop. The only thing they want to do. And if I'm coming to now, as a tier 2 worker, that is a tier 2 visa holder, I'm coming to work my ass out for you, pay my bills and pay my task. You expect me not to come with my wife. It won't work. So that is why they are facing the student for now. Because they feel that it's the students who are coming to gain. But the truth is, everyone is gaining. The student is gaining by learning what he or she comes to, uh, came to do. You are also gaining from the school where they pay their school fees. So, everybody is gaining from everybody. So the only thing that will be done, they're only trying to increase the skilled workers. They're going, they want to increase the, 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 the skilled workers so that they will have more people working and contributing to the economy. That is what they want to do. And for them to do this, they want to reduce students because students, obviously, they're not coming to work. Some people will just come with a very, some people even come with courses less than six months, I mean, one year, and that's it come, they still come with dependents. So these are the kind of things they want to stop. And that is, they want to tighten this rule. They want to really make it strict so that you reduce people coming. But from my opinion, they can't stop dependents from coming. And they won't even do it. Not to talk about people on tier 2, that is work visa. They won't do that. So the earlier you know, the better. Also, I want to leave you with this. UK is not the only country you can go to. Just bear that in mind. And I'm going to be talking about more of these countries, more of countries you can visit. If these are the kind of things you want, please remain here, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.